Hello, I'm Julie and welcome to my children's yoga and Namaste home. Um, okay, so what we're going to do today, we're going to do a special breathing exercise to start us off. Now, we're going to sit like this, so with your legs in front and you can rest your elbows on your knees. And this breath is called the bumblebee breath. What we're going to do is make a buzzing noise, like a Put your tongue in your mouth and your lips are together and your teeth are parted a little bit. So, teeth are parted, bring your lips together, rest your tongue in your mouth, in the roof of your mouth. You can make your lips go a little bit tickly so it can feel a bit strange, but it's quite a soothing sound to make. With the sun shining as it is again today, which is lovely, hopefully we see lots of bumblebees around and we've really got to look after our bumblebees. They're very special and very important. Einstein said if we didn't have bumblebees, then we wouldn't be alive anymore. So really important to look after our bumblebees. So to do this, we're gonna go like into a little special place inside ourselves, like inside our head. So you're going to put your thumbs over your ears to kind of close your ears off and put your fingers over your eyes. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, that's fine. You can just, you could spread your fingers and peep through your fingers if you want to, or you could just kind of hold your hands like this so you can still see a bit if you feel like it. Make sure you've got very clean hands first before you touch your face. Okay, so we're going to get into our starting position. And we're going to hum, and we're going to do it nine times. See if you can count. So, big breath in, and then mm, That's one. And again, big breath in. Game now to warm us up. 
and a lot of yoga positions are based on animals and things in nature. So I'm going to say an animal and then I'm going to do the shape of the animal and I'd like you to do it with me. So it might be a bit different to what you expect or it might just be that you kind of put your body in that shape and just think of something different. So I'm going to say first of all I'm going to be a gorilla. So gorilla crouches down like this and might go ooh on his chest. Good. So you know what a gorilla is. Ooh. So you all do this as well. You crouch like this and go ooh. Get your mums and dads to join in as well if you want. See if you can think of anything as well. You can play this at another time. All right, let's think of another one. A cat, my favorite. Let's come into it, be a cat. And we can be a sad cat. <laughs> and a happy cat. So be a cat. Be a cat washing. Tend to wash. Good. Remember, sad cat. And happy cat. So we'll do that again a bit later. Let's be a stretchy cat. Imagine we're stretching out in the sun. Good. What else could we be? All right, let's be a rabbit. So we're gonna come onto our fours. This probably looks a bit more like a frog. Let's be a rabbit like this. So a rabbit is gonna go hop, hop. So we lift up our back feet. Make sure you've got lots of space. If you've got someone doing it with you, make sure you're not kicking them behind you. We'll do bunny hops. Hop. That's clever, isn't it? It's good. Hop. Very good. Now let's be a frog. Ribbit. Ribbit. So a frog jumps a bit differently, doesn't it? Do it. Rup. Like this. Very good. Rup. So we don't just have to be animals. Let's be a tree. Now we've done this before. Stretch up, we stand on one leg, and we can go wee. Imagine now we've got our leaves falling down. Let's do the other side. So we stretch up and go wee. Very good. Okay, let's do one more. We're going to do a special one a bird called a heron. I don't know if you ever go out onto the levels and you see herons and they stand on their own. They stand on one leg sometimes, and then when they walk, they walk like this. So let's be a heron. Very good. Very good. Okay, now let's come to our, our place. We're going to be very sensible, very serious. And we're going to do our fun sun, sun salutations. You might have done this before with me. Doesn't matter if you haven't. We're going to go through it a couple of times, all right? So, when you're ready. So, it's fun and serious, first of all. I make a circle wide and round. Now I step out on the ground. Now I walk on my feet and hands. And stop. And now I'm a triangle with my bottom at the top. Like this. And now I'm a lion, big and strong. And again. And now I stretch out, lean and long, like this. Look, you can see where I'm stretching my leg and my arm. And the other side. Good. And now I hide. Here I am. Now I stand. And now I spin willy nilly. And the other way. And now I try to look silly. Very good. And then we're sensible and serious. Good. Should we do that again? I make a circle wide and round. Now I step hard on the ground. Now I walk on my feet and hands and stop. And now I'm a triangle with my bottom at the top. And now I'm a lion. Big and strong. Bah! And again. Bah! And now I stretch out lean and long. And the other side. And now I hide. Here I am. Now I stand. And now I spin willy nilly. And the other way. And now I 
try to look silly. Very good. And then I'm sensible and serious. Fabulous. Okay, I'm filming this and there's a full moon tomorrow. So that's when the moon is like a big circle in the sky. And when the moon is full like this, it can make people feel a bit loony. That's where the word loony comes from because la lune is French for moon. So you can feel a bit grumpy, a bit tetchy. Who's been feeling a bit like that? I have. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a special pose called a half moon. So although the moon is full, we're gonna be a half moon. But we're gonna do it resting our foot on something so it makes it easier to balance. So we will be standing on one leg, but I'm gonna rest my leg here on the table to start off with. So the foot I'm standing on points out this way, and I've got the table here beside me. Now you might have a sofa or something like that. We're gonna do the sofa the other way. So I'm gonna bring my foot up onto the sofa, onto the chair, table even, and then I'm gonna come down like this. All right, so I bring my hand to the floor, and I stretch my other hand up and I look up. This is called a half moon. So I'm gonna hold here and I'm going to breathe through my nose. Big deep breaths in. One. other side, all right? So if I'm standing, I'm points out this way. Now I'm gonna bring my other leg up onto the sofa. So we have to practice on the other leg. And then I'm going to come down, bring my hand to the floor, stretch my other hand up, and I'm gonna breathe through my nose again. One, two, three, Four, five, good. Coming up, come back to the centre. Be sensible and serious. Now, we're gonna do another pose that makes the shape of a triangle with our legs. So, it's very similar, but this time we're gonna have both feet on the floor. So I'm going to stand one foot pointing out, the other foot is behind me. So, if I were to bring my feet together, it would make a T shape like that. But I'm gonna take my feet out wider, so it's as if it's a very long, wide T shape. I'm gonna keep both my legs straight. I'm gonna tuck my tail in. That's really important, because if you have a tail, you pretend you've got a tail. I'm gonna rest this hand on this leg, Stretch this arm up nice and straight towards the ceiling and slide down this leg as far as I can but without bending forward. So I'm kind of stretching to the side and look up to this hand. Now parents, if you're doing this with your children, only look up to this hand if it's okay for you. If you have high blood pressure, then it's very important you look down. So hold and breathe. Good. So you can see, I'm making a triangle shape with my legs. Now I'm gonna come up again. I'm gonna turn now. So turn this foot, turn this foot this way. So I'm making that T shape again. So a very stretched out T. Tuck my tail in, place my hand on my leg. Stretch this arm up. Both legs are straight, making that T. I'm going to come down as far as I can, but not bending forward, so staying back like this. I'll look up to my hand if it's safe for me to do so, and breathe. Good. Very good. Very, very good. Good, coming up. Now, I'm going to turn my feet in. And we're going to bend down into our knees and we're going to be that gorilla again. But this time, you can imagine we're bending forwards like the gorilla and we're just, gorillas can, they can 
reach the floor with their hands. So it's like we're stroking the floor, going from one knee to the other. And then we're gonna come up and be that gorilla bread. Oh, very good. And again, stroke the floor. sun salutation when we're warming up so we're going to be what's called in yoga it's called being a dog downward facing dog so we want to make the body into that triangle shape like this so our feet are nice and wide our heels of our feet are down and our head is down between our arms so we're being a dog this is a dog in yoga downward facing dog so if you've got a dog, you might see them, they stretch like this. Now, we're gonna be a bit cheeky. What I call the next one, it's actually called donkey, but I call it downward facing dog doing a wee. So you're gonna lift one leg up in the air, stretch it up and breathe. Make sure you breathe, good. Bring that one down and then we do the other leg. Stretch it up, good, bring it down. And then we come down onto our knees. So we're going to be that sad and happy cat again. So, you can see now that my hands are underneath my shoulders and my knees are under my hips. We're going to be a sad cat. <laughs> then we're going to lift our head. I'm going to turn this way so you can see me. And be a happy cat. <laughs> and then a sad cat again. And then lift our head. And be a happy cat. <laughs> now we're going to twist around and look for that tail that we've lost. Where's it gone? Can't find it. Should we look on the other side as well? Where's my tail? Good, let's try this way again. Let's see if it's there. No, can't find it. Let's look this way. Let's give our bottom a bit of a wiggle. So we can call this Disco Cat. Or we can pretend, if you like peanut butter, pretend you're scraping out a peanut butter jar with your bottom, kind of cleaning inside and out. Or if you prefer Marmite, might be Marmite or jam. Wriggling around. And then very important, we're gonna sit back and stretch our arms out in front. And be a cat stretching out in the sun. And then we can bring our hands down by our feet. Turn so you can see me. And be a rock. Be nice and chilled. And relaxed. Good. And come up to sitting. Okay, so. We're going to finish again. First of all, we're going to be on a river. So we've done this before, so we're going to stretch our arms up, pretend that we're a waterfall, water falling down, and once we stretch out, we flow out, and we're a river. Let's do that again. Stretching up. Waterfall coming down. Good. And one more. Stretch up. And the waterfall coming down. Good. Now we're going to be a fish. So slide your hands onto your bottom. Have your legs out straight in front. Then you're going to bring your head backwards. So you're going to be a fish swimming in the river. From here, we can go to being a bridge. So we lie down, and we lift our bottoms up as we breathe in and make a bridge. So our river is flowing underneath us. 
breathe out and bring your bottom down. And again, breathe in, lift your bottom up and breathe out and bring it down. And one more, breathe in, lift your bottom up and breathe out and bring it down. And then we're going to squeeze our knees in to our body. So, one more fun thing that we can do. We are going to sit up, hold on to our toes. I have to be a little bit forward because I need to be able to roll back. But I'm holding on to my toes, you can see. And I'd like you to try and do this as well. So see if you can balance on your bottoms. Remember the secret to balance is to stare at a spot. See if you can stretch your legs out. That's it, that's good. And bring your feet in. And again, see if you can lean back, stretch your legs out, bring your feet back in. And then one more. Going to do this. I'm going to wriggle forward on my mat, so I want you to check you've got a lot of space behind you before you do the next one. So if there's lots of you in the room, you might have to take it in turns. So we're going to lean back, and then we're going to roll back. It's called Happy Baby. So holding on to our toes, and then see if you can roll back up again. That's good. So should we try again? Roll back. Happy Baby. And come back. Good, one more. Happy baby. And then we're gonna be laughing babies or dying flies, shaking out our hands and our feet. Good, okay, time to lie down now. So lying down on the floor, I'm going to get my blocks. Make yourself nice and relaxed. So lying down. And I'd like you to lie down and just take a nice big breath in through your nose. And breathe out with a ah. And again, big breath in through your nose. Breathe out. Ah. one more of those. Big breath in through your nose and breathe out. Ah. And I'd like you to imagine that you're lying down in a beautiful garden. There are lots of flowers growing all around you the colours that you can imagine. And you're lying down on soft green grass, but you can feel the earth beneath your body. It feels safe to know it's there. And as you breathe out now, imagine that you're melting down into the ground. The sun is shining helping you feel very, very relaxed. And so you melt down into the ground, feeling soothed, feeling relaxed. And in the sky above you, there is a rainbow stretching in a beautiful arch above you. And imagine now that you have a rainbow inside you. So the colours of the rainbow, red, you are strong and safe. Orange, you are happy and playful. Yellow, you are proud and confident. Green, you are kind and caring. Blue, 
you are honest and truthful. Indigo, you are clever and creative. And Violet, you are a good friend. You have all those colours and all those qualities inside you. You are connected to all the life around you. And you are a rainbow. Good. So begin to stretch now. Wriggle your fingers, wriggle your toes. Stretch your arms, stretch your legs. Good. Come up to a sitting position. Just tap yourself over your face and your body. And well done. Namaste. Thank you.